everybody, today we're going to install the DIR 685. Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike and I'm here to help you get more out of your network. So today what I wanted to do was go through the installation of the DIR 685. Now this is one of the coolest routers that we make. In fact, it's one of the coolest routers that anybody makes. This is our extreme end storage router and what it does is it combines a high speed 802.11n router with a digital picture frame and a network attached storage device. What we need to do is when you buy this router, you also want to make sure that you buy a two and a half inch serial ATA hard drive. Now this is the same type of hard drive that you put into a laptop and we're going to use this to install into the 685 to turn it into the network attached storage. So the first thing we want to do is take a look inside the package and see what's inside the box. Inside the box you're going to find the router, the stand, an ethernet cable, the power adapter, and the documentation. Before we install the DIR 685, there's a couple of things that we're going to want to do. The first being uh, attaching the stand to the bottom. Now if you take and you look at the bottom of the stand, there's uh, four pegs here that line up with the holes on the top of the router. If you just take and turn it upside down, you line up the pegs with the holes, you can just push it on there and then the stand is attached. Now the second thing that we're going to want to do is install our two and a half inch serial ATA drive. It doesn't matter what size you get, the most important thing is that you get a serial ATA drive that's two and a half inches, like what you would install into a laptop. So all you have to do is take the router, put it uh, face down with the stand facing towards you, and then flip down this little door. Now if you take the hard drive so that the label is uh, facing upward, just take and slide the hard drive in until it's firmly seated in there and then close the door and that's all there is to it. Now that hard drive will be recognized as uh, part of the installation when we go ahead and go through that. So if we take and we look at our cool installation poster that comes with the DIR 685, you can see that doing the hardware installation is the next thing that we need to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Insert your CD into the CD-ROM drive. Once the auto run comes up, click the Begin Installation button. Once the End User Agreement comes up, click Agree. On the next screen, you'll want to select your local language and then click Next. Now the Quick Router Setup Wizard is going to check your connection. Now you're going to be asked if you're replacing an existing router. I'm going to select Yes for this installation and then click Next. Now you're going to want to remove the sticker from the backside of your router. For the hardware, you're first going to want to unplug the modem's power. Then unplug the power to your old router. Now unplug the Ethernet cable from the WAN or Internet port on your existing router and connect it to the DIR685's Internet port. Now disconnect all of the other Ethernet ports from your router and connect them to the 685. Next, you're going to want to connect the DIR685's power adapter to the wall outlet and then to the 685. The next thing the Quick Router Setup Wizard is going to do is configure your router. This could take a couple of minutes. Once this is done, you're going to want to reconnect the power to your modem then wait for the modem to completely boot up. Now your router will be configured again. On the next screen, if you have DSL, you're going to be asked for the username and password for it. If you have a cable internet connection, this step will be skipped. Now your router will be configured again. The next step is to enter in a password. This is the password that you're going to use to log into your router to change settings. Now the Quick Router Setup Wizard will ask you for an SSID. This is the name that you'll see when you do a site survey or scan for a wireless network. Then you'll be asked to select which kind of security you want to use. 
I highly recommend using WPA unless you have a legacy device that requires WEP. Once you have that selected, you'll want to enter in a passphrase that's anywhere from 8 to 63 characters long using both letters and numbers. On this screen, you're going to confirm the settings that you've chosen for your router. Go ahead and write these down on the inside of the CD's cover, and then your router will go through one final configuration. Now just click the finish button and you're done. Well, there you have it. That's how you install one of the coolest routers in the industry. If you want more information on how to um, configure the advanced features of the DIR-685, uh, check out the uh, DIR-685 series, episodes 1 through 5. And that's going to do it for this episode of D-Link TV DIY. I'm Mike, and thanks for watching.